Hi everyone, welcome back to Mailmans Online. If you're running multiple Proxmox nodes in your home lab, you're going to love this. Proxmox has dropped their data center manager and 0.9 beta and it changes everything. No more jumping between nodes or web interfaces. Now you've got a single pane of glass to monitor and manage all your Proxmox clusters. So in today's video, what Proxmox data manager is, why it's a game changer and how to set it up. So what is Proxmox Data Center Manager? Proxmox Data Center Manager or PDM is a central management platform for multiple Proxmox VE nodes or clusters. It does not replace the existing Proxmox interface, instead it adds a high level overview for all your Proxmox hosts. With it you can monitor all your nodes in one dashboard, start, stop or reboot VMs and containers, view metrics like CPU, memory and disk usage and even migrate VMs between different clusters. If you're like me, you're probably having multiple Proxmox nodes, maybe an old Nitanduk, a mini PC or a few tower servers. Until now, managing them meant logging into each one separately. But with Proxmox uh, Data Center Manager, you just log in once and you're in control of everything. It's basically vCenter for Proxmox, but open source and lightweight. It even works great on low-powered hardware or a simple VM. Yep, it's totally free. Now let's get it installed. There are two main options. Option 1, install via ISO, which is the recommended method. Option 2 is install inside an LXC container. We are going to go with the ISO method. First, download the official ISO from Proxmox. Next, Log in into your Proxmo server, go to your data store and upload the ISO. Once the ISO is uploaded, create a new VM, name it for example PDM, select the data center ISO, select the correct guest OS type, a single 32 gig of uh, disk space is enough, let's give it two cores, two gigabytes of memory. After you start the uh, virtual machine, you can proceed with the installation just like you install Proxmox. Accept the end user license agreement, select your hard drive, enter your country, your time zone and your keyboard layout, enter your root password and your email address, give the data center manager a name, in my case pm.internal.mailmansonline, it's recommended, give it the fixed IP address and press next. When you log into PDM for the first time, you will get a clean dashboard. Next step is adding your Proxmox nodes. You can go to Remote, add Proxmox VE, enter the IP address of your node, call 8006, press Next, accept the fingerprint, give it the name, enter your username and password, and press Next, press Next, and finish. That's it, now you'll see your Proxmox node listed under Pro Data Center Manager. What can you do with it? You can see the CPU, RAM and disk usage across all clusters. You can search for any VM or container across all nodes. You can start, stop or reboot VMs remotely. Open consoles directly through the PDM web UI. And you can even migrate VMs between different Proxmos clusters. And remember, this all happens without replacing your existing Proxmos GUIs. You can still deep dive into your nodes directly if needed. This is still in beta, so expect a few limitations. There's no backup integration with PBS yet, uh, no alerting or email notifications, uh, no high availability for the PDM server itself, and some functions like VM creation or advanced viral rules still require jumping into the original Proxmox UI. But roadmap is exciting. Proxmox plans to add full PBS integration, update management, alerting, and so much more. So is it worth trying? Absolutely. If you have two or more Proxmox nodes, it's a no-brainer. Try it in a VM or a container, explore the interface, and start managing your home lab like a real pro. Links are in the description. Uh, including setup commands, the ISO download and the official Proxmox wiki. If this helps you, hit like, subscribe and check out my other videos on Proxmox VE and PBS. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!